When we shop on Amazon, we use the search bar just like a regular search engine. We type in what we are looking for and Amazon shows us the best results. Now this seamless experience is made possible through Amazon indexing which ensures that the products matching our search queries are displayed efficiently. So how can you make sure your Amazon listing is optimized for indexing and easy discovery by customers? Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, product evangelist at Cinderab and today I'm going to talk about Amazon indexing. Well, here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to Cellarab so don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels. Let's get started. Now being indexed on Amazon means that your product gets sorted and possibly ranks for the keywords you use to describe it. These keywords tell Amazon what your product is and where it should be shown to the shoppers. If Amazon doesn't index your product, it won't be visible to your customers. The best way to make sure your product gets indexed correctly is to follow Amazon's SEO guidelines. This involves using the right keywords in your product descriptions, creating informative bullet points, using high quality images and including those hidden keywords. Now that we have covered what Amazon indexing is and the importance of using the right keywords, let's delve a bit deeper into the distinction between product indexing and the keyword indexing. Now, product indexing and keyword indexing essentially mean the same thing. Amazon organizes products based on the words in your product listing. So the right keyword is crucial for proper indexing. If you don't use the best and the most relevant keywords, your product might not get indexed correctly. If your product isn't indexed properly, it won't show up when customers use the relevant search terms. Sellers often mix up the keyword indexing with keyword ranking. So let me clarify this too. Keyword indexing helps Amazon understand what your product is about, while keyword ranking determines where your product appears in Amazon's search results. Now the goal is to have your product rank as high as possible in those search results. Now here are some tips to improve your Amazon indexing. Firstly, choose the right keywords. Start by finding the best keywords for your products. You can do this by using the Amazon search bar to see what words shoppers commonly use when searching for these similar items. Additionally, consider using an Amazon keyword research tool to keep up with the trends and update your listings regularly. Let me take you on the easiest Amazon keyword research journey with the Cellwrap keyword tool. On the Cellwrap platform, navigate to the keyword tool. Under this, we have two sub features. Let's take a look into each one of them in detail. Firstly, we have keyword research. It will help you to find the keyword opportunities for your listings. In this, you can enter any keyword. I'm entering table. You'll see that the search results will be displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the relevant keywords to the entered keyword. Also, you can find the tags against these keywords. They depict the current trend of these keywords on Amazon. And on the right, we have all the metrics based on which these keywords can be evaluated. Additionally, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards the keyword tag tracking under the product intelligence feature. There, you can analyze them better for a specific period of time. And if they are good to go, then add them to your advertising. Now, within a few clicks, you can actually add more relevant keywords to your advertising. With this, you can add keywords to your relevant keyword tags as well. You can export the data with this tab and copy paste the most relevant keywords list into a new sheet in the Excel spreadsheet. I have been interacting with you know, many Amazon sellers lately and they have this very problem 
that whenever a customer searches for a keyword relevant to their product, the competitor's listing appear to be at the top. And this is kind of frustrating because after putting in so many efforts, your competitors are ranking at the top of the Amazon search. Now imagine how cool would it be if you could actually understand the keyword strategies of your competitors and accordingly imbibe them into your listings? Interesting, right? And that is where the reverse ASIN tool comes into picture. Here, you can compare your ASIN with your competitor's ASIN. I have added two ASINs and now click on compare. The best part about this tool is at a time, you can compare your ASIN with three other competitor ASINs. You'll see that the search results are already displayed on the screen. On the left, you'll find the keywords which are present in your ASIN as well as your competitor's ASINs. And on the right, we can see the metrics used to evaluate all of these keywords. Now, this is your ASIN and this is your competitor's ASIN. Now, I'm going to sort this column of estimated orders per month. If you consider this example, this search term has good estimated orders per month and good conversion rate, but it's present in your competitor's ASIN and not in your ASIN. Now, this can be that keyword which is helping them to rank at the top of the Amazon search. You can directly add them to advertising or if you want, you can track the keywords where you'll be directed towards the keyword tracking under product intelligence feature. There, you can analyze them based on their trends for a specific period of time and if they are worth it, then you can add them to your advertising. Now, this is how convenient this tool is to use. Within a few clicks, you can understand the keyword strategies your competitors are using and accordingly use them into your product title, description and bullet points to enhance your product's visibility when shoppers search with the relevant keywords. Now, second is place keywords strategically. Use your chosen keywords in the right places within your product listings. Now, these include title. Make sure your product title contains the most relevant keywords. Keep it clear and accurate. Next is bullet points. Use bullet points to help customers uh, quickly understand what your product is and what it can do. Third is search terms. Add backend keywords in the search terms section to optimize your listings. Although customers can't see them, Amazon uses them to index your product. To add these keywords, follow these steps. Firstly, go to your Seller Central account. Click on the Manage Inventory under the Inventory tab. Find the listing you want, click Edit, and then access the Keyword tab. Enter your desired keywords into the search term field and click Save. Now keep an eye on the character limits. Amazon imposes the character limits for the product listings, including a maximum of 200 characters for the title, around 50 characters for each of the five lines in your description or the bullet points, and the limit of 250 bytes for the backend keywords. So to avoid exceeding these limits while still creating an SEO-rich listing, consider using a listing optimization tool like Celera. Now, this AI-powered software streamlines your optimization process, saving your time and ensuring accuracy. No worrying about the mismatched keywords or irrelevant data. Celerap analyzes your competitor's selling category, Amazon guidelines and listings to uh, you know, provide the most relevant insights. Link into the description to know more about this useful feature. Now next is keep your keywords up to date. It is always a good idea to regularly update your product listings. Use relevant keywords when you update your product images and rewrite your bullet points to improve your ranking. This is also a chance to ensure you are using the right keywords to make your product easier to find. Next is use backend search terms. Customers use search terms when looking for products in the search bar. Backend search terms are the keywords you add to the hidden part of your listing. Customers can't see these terms, so you can include all the necessary keywords without taking up space in your product's title or even bullet points. Next we have is review your category listing report. 
A category listing report contains information about all your active ASINs on Amazon. You can use this report as a reference when you want to improve your listing in the future. Well, here's how you can get your category listing report. To request a category listing report, visit the seller support and send a message uh, describing your request in the describe your issue box. Select inventory file upload issue under the confirm your issue and then proceed to resolve issue. From there, navigate to contact us and choose feed access to category listing report as your contact reason. Now, once your request is processed, follow these steps to download your category listing report. Go to the Amazon Seller Central homepage and then access to the inventory and the inventory reports. Now, click the drop down menu and select uh, the select report type, choose category listing report, pick the appropriate category and click request report. Your report will be available for download for seven days. Next, avoid keyword stuffing. So adding too many keywords into your listing can actually hurt your rankings. You should include enough keywords to let the customers know what you are selling, but don't overdo it to the point where uh, you know your listing looks spammy. Amazon prefers listings that are easy to read and understand, so steer clear keyword stuffing. Ninth is focus on sales and conversions. It might sound obvious, but boosting your sales and conversions signals to Amazon that your product is top-notch and in demand. Amazon wants satisfied customers to return, so they prioritize products that perform well consistently following Amazon's SEO guidelines. Achieving high sales and uh, garnering 5-star reviews will earn you Amazon's favor. Tenth is manage parent or child variations. Imagine you are running an online clothing store and you have a fantastic winter jacket that's a hot seller. Now let's say the jacket comes in various sizes, small, medium, large, and colors that is black, blue, red, to cater to different customer preferences. Now in this scenario, the parent-child product variations concept comes into play. The parent product here would be the original winter jacket, the one that's usually the most popular and widely recognized. On the other hand, the child products are the variations or different options stemming from the parent product. Now these can be the similar smaller sizes the different colors or even style variations like a hooded version or one with extra insulation. These child products offer a choice to your customers allowing them to pick the exact size, the color or style that suits their needs. So in essence, parent-child product variations enable you to offer a diverse range of options within a single product line, making it easier for customers to find the perfect fit style or color they deserve while still keeping the essence of the original product, popular product intact. Now, why managing variations matters? Contrary to a common misconception that the keywords from the parent product don't automatically apply to the child products, you must thoroughly review each product description when uh, dealing with the parent-child variations. The child listing must contain all the correct information and the keywords to be properly indexed even if the parent product already is. If you find it tedious to update multiple listings, consider using Seller App's product intelligence feature. It simplifies the process with just a few clicks. The listing quality sub-feature provides an optimization checklist that evaluates the key aspects of your listing and suggests the improvements. You can quickly complete all your listings with the provided content suggestions, which can help increase your Amazon sales. Now, it's important to regularly check if your product is indexed on Amazon. If you find that it's not, it's time to make some improvements to your listing. Wait at least 24 hours after creating your listing before checking for indexing. Use Amazon search. The easiest way to see if your product is indexed is by searching for it on Amazon. Now make sure you select 
all departments to ensure you are appearing in search results based on your keyword and not just the categorization. Try an Amazon Index Checker. Now, an Amazon Index Checker is a tool for sellers that tells you whether your keywords have been indexed and how they are ranking. Now, some tools even allow you to modify these keywords that might be preventing your product from indexing or ranking well in the search results. This tool is especially useful if you have multiple listings to check. Sarvap offers a Chrome extension for keyword tracking to help you monitor whether your keywords are indexed or not. All you need to do is go to the listing, open Sellwrap Chrome extension and keyword tracking, track the keywords of your choice and check for their indexing. Next is use a reverse ASIN checker. An ASIN is a unique identification number given to your product by Amazon once it's indexed. A reverse ASIN checker lets you use your ASIN or your competitor's ASIN to get an overall performance report on your products and the keywords. With Cellwrap's Chrome extension, you can also get the indexing status of the competitors. All you have to do is open your competitor's ASIN and do the analysis. So Amazon indexing is essential for sellers to allow the customers find products they want. However, it depends on how well the sellers optimize their listings. By using the correct keywords and search terms, you can help Amazon showcase your products to the potential buyers. If you are looking to enhance your product listings and boost your sales, consider adopting a new and improved SEO strategy with Cellwrap support. We offer a comprehensive analysis of your overall performance and help you optimize your product listings effectively. Our expert team is always here to assist you at support at cellwrap.com. And that's it for this video everyone. Thanks for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Cellwrap. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides for any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media channels for more helpful content. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling!